the introduction of Video Assistant Referee VAR, in football was hailed as a groundbreaking step towards achieving greater accuracy and fairness in decision-making. However, as the seasons have unfolded, a chorus of discontent has grown louder. Behold, you are being watched. Every move you make is scrutinized by a group of men in a secluded room far, far away. At their behest, a call is made, and your dreams are crushed. Nobody is safe. Today, football may be the most lucrative sport, with mediocre players earning in a week what medical doctors earn in 10 years. But has the game become more interesting or entertaining than the good old days? Or has VAR become a lightning rod for controversy, with many fans, players, and pundits alike expressing their dissatisfaction? Modern-day football has become under the scandalous surveillance. Make no mistake, no matter which team you play for or support, the VAR might have somehow favored or disfavors your team. It is the death of football as we know it. Here is why VAR is perceived by many has ruined the beautiful game. 1. Undermining on-field referee authority. The implementation of VAR was intended to assist on-field referees, but it inadvertently has the effect of undermining their authority. Referees, once the sole arbiters on the pitch, now face the prospect of decisions being overruled from a remote location, eroding the confidence and autonomy of those presiding over the game. The pitch side referee's judgment, previously sacrosanct, is now susceptible to remote intervention, leading to a loss of the human touch that has long been an integral part of football's appeal. Before the introduction of VAR, the referee would make a snap decision in response to a controversial offside call or a sliding tackle within the box. However, this degree of focus is no longer necessary since, in situations when ambiguity occurs, the referee only needs to tune in his earpiece and wait for his superior's judgment, who have access to the replay. They are like puppets, with their strings pulled by some retired referees who are undoubtedly concealed away in a room somewhere drinking mojito. We cannot have our cake and eat it. Referees are becoming a waste of time, money, and energy. Either we scrap VAR and hand full authority to the ref, or the latter's role will suffer the same fate as shop workers with the invention of self-checkouts. 2. Inconsistency in decision-making Welcome to the land where numerous referees are jam-packed into one room. Despite having access to so many displays that allow them to view absolutely anything, they still like debating. Torture is the protracted, nerve-wracking perplexity that results from this. Football is now a movie directed by crazy directors. The promise of consistent and fair decision-making was a driving force behind VAR's implementation. However, the reality has been far from uniform. The interpretation of rules and the criteria for intervention seem to vary from match to match and even from one referee to another. This lack of uniformity has left players, managers, and fans bewildered, with the same incident sometimes resulting in different outcomes depending on who is in charge. This inconsistency only adds to the frustration and confusion surrounding VAR and undermining its credibility. As it happens week in, week out, a goal is scored, emotions are running high, but then something catches your eye. The referee puts his hand to his ear. What does it mean? Who is he talking to? Will the goal be disallowed? If so, why? Minutes go by and tens of thousands of people in the stadium have no clue what is going on. Finally, the goal is disallowed, but no explanation given. 3. Killing the joy of goal celebrations. One of the most visceral and emotional aspects of football is the celebration of goals, the eruption of joy, the communal ecstasy among fans, players, and staff. VAR, however, has introduced an unwelcome pause in these celebrations. Goals are now met with cautious celebrations as players and fans await the VAR verdict. The spontaneous outpouring of joy has been replaced by a hesitant uncertainty, robbing the game of the unbridled passion that makes football such a beloved sport. 
the inability to celebrate a goal can significantly reduce the passion aspect of the game, which is what football is all about. Before its implementation in the 2019-20 season, football thrived off of spontaneity, but now the referees can see a lot more and can make a lot more decision. Because of this, there is never anything that fans or players can be certain of. If your team scores a last-minute winner, how can you celebrate knowing that at any point in the game, that could be reversed? How do you know the referee won't call a penalty if a defender on your side makes a life-saving tackle to stop the opposition from scoring? You can never be 100% sure that nothing happened somewhere on the pitch that could dash your hopes at any point in the game. With such paranoia plaguing our minds, how can we enjoy the game we all love? 4. Disrupting the flow of the game a report from Sky Sports claims that the average time for a VAR verdict to be completed is 84 seconds. Ruben Loftus-Cheek's disallowed goal against Wolves in the 21-22 season is one example of a judgment that took more than three minutes to complete. Football's fluidity and continuous action have been compromised by VAR, induced stoppages. Lengthy reviews disrupt the natural rhythm of the game, leading to a loss of momentum and excitement. Fans are left waiting, and players lose their focus during these breaks, creating an atmosphere that is far removed from the non-stop, high-energy spectacle that has endeared football to millions around the world. The very essence of the sport is being sacrificed for the sake of a meticulous review process. Indeed, VAR is not a correction, but a long pause and a rewind, done for tedious things like a few millimeters worth of an offside call. Football is becoming Groundhog Day. If it doesn't play perfectly by the rules, it will never advance. However, since football is such an unpredictable game, it isn't meant to be flawless. That's what makes it thrilling to watch. The sooner we realize all this and fall in love with spontaneity again, the sooner we will break the spell and wake up from this nightmare. 5. The Ever-Present Human Error one of the most compelling aspects of football is its human drama. The errors, the moments of brilliance, and the unpredictable nature of the sport. VAR, however, seeks to minimize human error to the point where spontaneity and unpredictability are casualties. The thrill of a controversial decision, the heated debates, and the enduring memories created by human judgment are all being overshadowed by an over-reliance on technology. The introduction of VAR threatens to strip football of its inherent imperfections, ultimately robbing it of the very qualities that make it so captivating. While VAR aimed to elevate football officiating to new levels of accuracy and fairness, its implementation has sparked controversy and divided opinions. The issues of delays, inconsistency, Objective offside calls, undermined celebrations, and referee authority have fueled the argument that VAR is ruining the very fabric of the beautiful game. It doesn't matter what team you support. The abolition of VAR will take back control of our beautiful game from the bureaucrats who have stolen it from us, players, and fans. Let them tremble at this. We have nothing to lose but our discontentment and an entire sport to win. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.